In this video, I talk about flow control faucets and foam. Want to see more? Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome back. Over the past couple few years, I suppose, I've gotten occasional comments uh, on some of my videos when I feature my draft system or draft beer or anything to do with foam of any kind. I actually did a, a dedicated video on how to balance your draft line system to get rid of the foam in your, in your draft system. And that basically involves mainly cutting your beer line or extending your beer line to a certain length to balance the pressure in your keg. And the length of that line would vary depending upon the, the serving pressure in the keg that you want. And in that video and others, I get occasional comments saying, why bother with any of this? Just get a full control faucet and call it a day. Which I didn't need because I had a balanced system. Well, in the past year or two, I've been doing more of these kit ciders. You may see me doing for the apple, cherry, and now a pear cider right here in my hand. And each time I do this, uh, for the ciders, you really have to crank up the PSI in the keg to get the fizz that you want. If you serve cider at beer pressures, uh, it, it tastes pretty flat and thin. And what you gotta do then is crank it up to almost double, basically, of what you would serve it for beer. So for me, I like to serve my beer between uh, 10 and 12 PSI. Uh, this is probably about 22 PSI in this keg here now. And because my beer line is balanced for a 10 to 12 PSI serving pressure, when I get above, you know, 20, 22, 24, it, it really foams up and you get a, a glass full of foam. So I finally decided to go ahead and go out and get a full control faucet. Now, what I have here in front of me here is the InterTap brand. I did a previous video on the other model that I've shown already on my channel with the spring that to uh, keep the tap handle um, from, from opening and leaking like my previous faucet had done and that solved the great problem there but even in that video I got comments from people wanting to say well why don't you just get the full control option well because I've been doing ciders and stuff now and I've done root beers as well and that has the same problem you get to really crank up the pressure in a, in a root beer as well so I decided okay I'll do it so I went out and got the intertap full control faucet here which is right in front of you here and just a minute ago you may have noticed I had a lot of foam on this thing it, it, it has settled but uh, even with a full control faucet, it does not solve the problem if you have a wildly unbalanced system. And uh, like I've said in those comments and to anyone who's asked, it says a full control faucet is no substitute for a balanced draft system. I think it can supplement it and augment it, but it's not a direct replacement. And I'll show you why. So the foam subsided a bit and I am going to give it another try. I'm going to turn down the restrictor even more. It goes all the way down to zero here and nothing comes out. But if I give it a slight crack, well, that might even be enough like that. So nothing really comes out. So you have to keep turning it. And then what is, and what comes out? More foam, more foam. See, it's not the best solution all all by itself for a foamy beer that's why you need to have a balanced draft system in addition to a full control faucet a full control faucet all by itself will not alone will not keep foam out of your beer you still need a somewhat balanced draft system which is what was talked about in an older video of mine where i talk about how to balance your, your draft system and uh, a big culprit of that is having too short of a beer line in your kegerator. So, um, for example, I have 10 feet coiled up inside this kegerator right here, and it's balanced for about 10 to 12 psi beer. But what I have here is a pair of cider, highly carbonated. See, it's highly carbonated above 20, 22 psi. I think, I think it is, in order for it to have a fizz in it, and uh, that's uh, way unbalanced for my 10 foot line here. So. 
I, I bought the full control faucet here to help with that in case I, I want to do siders and not have to get a 20 foot length of line to, to balance it and uh, as you can see here even with a balanced line for a 12 psi beer uh, having it almost double for a cider uh, re-unbalances it again where to the point where even the full control faucet can't balance it without creating foam it's still good though it's just uh just like i said before uh, for those who've asked the question why don't i just use a full control faucet and don't mess around with trying to use a longer line length that's why which is why i've been saying to those who've asked the question uh why balance my lines if i can just get a full control faucet it's not good enough for most cases now most cases so some cases like if you have beers some are it might be eight psi uh, in order to serve them some of them you want to be a little bit more fizzier or 12 or 13 right that's a smaller difference in uh, in pressures but going from like 10 or 11 psi to 22 23 psi that's a huge bump that a full control faucet is not still good enough to handle all by itself you still need to have a somewhat balanced line system so what i've been doing is balancing my draft system now on the upper end of the low end if that makes sense of my beer style so it's so uh, pick a lighter carbonated beer style like a like an english brown ale i did a video on that last summer right where i had a warmer serving temperature and a lower serving pressure and if i use that beer in this system i would balance the line for maybe the upper uh, range of the carbonation level for that lower carbonated beer like the brown ale for example so then when i put a higher carbonated beer on there say something that might be on uh, 10 11 12 psi then i can then use the flow control faucet to fine tune the flow rate so a combination of both a balanced or a somewhat balanced draft system and a flow control faucet are the best combination you, you you really can't get by with just one or the other if you're changing beer styles a lot or, or adding cider or making your own root beer which is got about the same problem as cider does it wants to be about 25 psi as well so that's something to keep in mind in the meantime i'm going to carry on keep drinking i'll see you all later thanks for watching be sure to check out other videos on my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe